we are faced with the urgent task of improving our balance of trade by focusing on the alternatives that is non-oil exports. I'd like to thank Zenith Bank for taking the initiative and leading the way in um, leading financiers to think about how they can support the export sector. It's absolutely key that Nigeria rebalances its economy away from oil. It's such a big movement also in Nigeria to change things. So if we all work hard and, and be transparent, I think uh, there's a prosperous future for Nigeria. The declivity of oil prices in the international commodities market has forced our attention as a nation on the vulnerability of our economy. Export is a key element of the economy that when harnessed would boost economic growth. Promotion of the real sector will increase foreign exchange receipt and create jobs within the economy. Zenith Bank International Trade Seminar is an interactive seminar series on trade services that highlights key current issues and development trends in foreign trade, bringing them to the attention of business and policy stakeholders. Increasing non-oil export will serve to put the Nigerian economy into recovery, create millions of jobs, engender long-term prosperity, support sustainable economic, social, and environmental growth. The third in its series, the 2016 seminar was meticulously programmed to encompass the need for growth in non-oil exports. Peter Drucker admonishes that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And that's why we are here. And the future we are talking about here is non-oil exports. This year's program included renowned speakers and panelists with encompassing experiences and solutions from around the world. We need to create our own brand. We need to, it's not just about exporting raw commodities. We need to export processed and finished commodities. We need incentives because we have no infrastructures, because we have no power. And we are competing with people who have all these things. People are looking for hand-holding. They are tired of seminars and grammar. So there's a lot you can do in that direction. You are bringing the funding. You can stay in control of the entire value chain of the transaction. People make money, you make money also. For the stock of knowledge that was available in the room, the goal was to have a very interactive and discussion-based seminar so that attendees would gain maximum value and leave the seminar with a better understanding of the latest opportunities in the sector and more importantly, impetus to take action. I would like to give all my panelists question what they are thinking about the theme of this conference and may I start from my utmost right and ask you what do you think about this conference just in a few sentences. For Nigeria as a country to think, oil must come to one dollar per barrel. So therefore, it becomes useless, then we can think about the real issue on ground. We will talk about financing, but we need to go back to the basics. We are open for business and completely committed to Nigeria and Africa. This is absolutely a very welcome development, and as a multilateral financial institution, um, we're 100% here to support all the initiatives, both from the exporter side, including um, supporting the financial institutions within Nigeria. This is an opportunity for us to begin to look at the huge opportunities we have in the non-oil export sector, create wealth in those sectors, so that we can begin to occupy our pride of place. The Chief Executive Officer at Zenith Bank, Mr. Peter Amango, expressed the commitment of the bank to build non-oil export service excellence in the trade and investment sectors. We are squarely focused and will embrace and evolve solutions that facilitate non-oil exports. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Governor, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, through his representative, CBN Deputy Director, Trade and Exchange Department, Mr. W.D. Gottring, said, Our records show that Zadis Bank ran highest in terms of non-oil export facilitating bank. And I think it's important that we show presence. 
I am pleased to inform the stakeholders gathered here today that the bank is partnering, the bank, that is CBN, is partnering with Nexim with two new export financing initiatives. The export rediscounting and refinancing facility and the non-oil export simulation facility to boost investment in the non-oil sector. Apart from this interactive seminar series, as a bank, we have decided to make it a top priority to improve the conditions that directly affect the ability of our clients to export. By assisting with financing that is needed for exports, trade advocacy and export promotion efforts, educating our clients about markets and the financing opportunities available. We are looking forward that other banks will also come up with this kind of initiatives so that in the, in the next six months we will see an explosion of what is happening. But caution, government agencies will go and tie up their belt because something serious needs to happen at the checkpoints before the, the products get out of Nigeria. Otherwise, the situation will find itself to become worse than what we have. Exporters, please go get knowledge. Exporting has become very knowledge intensive. What you don't know can hurt you. Other agencies of government like the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Nigeria Customs Service, NCS, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFTAC, as well as shipping lines, importers and exporters attended the event. The figures are staggering. Why are people actually doing illegal export? When people come to customs declarations for export, because we don't collect duty from export, they believe that there is no need giving us statistics. They give you export documents, you see blanks. They don't even see the value of what they are exporting. Then it's all about, is it not just cashew? Organa cashew now, they just fill it up. They don't want to give you the value of that. So sometimes when you get records from foreign, it looks like it is lopsided against Nigeria that we are not exporting much. Presentations were complemented by questions and answers, as well as special networking sessions. All we need to do out of this, uh, what exactly is government doing? Somebody mentioned that about 6 million hectares, which is the size of Belgium, was used for um, palm oil plantation. We need strategic in intervention for us to move export forward. What I do is to process uh, local food, local food items like uh, uh, breadfruit, palm oil, oil bean, oba. You know, these items that people eat and they export to the United States. Because of the growing population of uh, Nigerians over there, I noticed there's a big interest in that business. Today, I have a small company in the village. I employ the local women. We process this thing, the home style, and we export. I came here, my question is, one, how do people like us get help from government? And I've seen people who are talking here, they are far above me. So I don't really quite understand some of the languages you are speaking here. But then you can have a lot to do if you can go into formal. In the sense what I'm trying to say that you can assess a lot of finances. If a lot of this, our informal trade can move into trade sector. And then you can improve from there. But how to struggle if you are doing importation? Then you ask yourself, if I'm doing export, what do I do? My message and submission to the policymakers and the government would be whatever you have promised and committed, you know, please stand by that. You review, I mean, we all learn every day. Going forth, whatever needs to be changed, please change it. But it's a very dangerous and slippery slope to get onto when people keep on changing things on a retrospective basis because that is the path where you are actually dissuading serious long-term investors and that is uh, I believe now uh, something which is not good for the larger business uh, 
or the economy, neither for the government. We need to protect Nigerian exporters from problem of non-payment and insolvency. Most times we export products and you only realize that the company you've sold these products to, they've gone bankrupt. Who protects you from that? The Air Change, as some of you will know, is a platform for buying and selling of commodities. The way Stock Exchange is a place for buying and selling of shares anonymously. That is what the, the commodity exchange is all about. You sell your commodities through the exchange, you buy your commodity through the exchange. We are developing a product whereby Zeni Bank will use your commodity as collateral instead of your building uh, papers and, and what have you. A professor with the wife exported a container, one by four meter container, out of this country. By the time the container was rejected and sent back to Nigeria, when we went to re-examine the container, what I saw frightened me. It was purely juju items inside the container. Probably those are artifacts, actually. Because the juju in my village, you can't take it to any other way. It won't work again. Quality parameters are there for a free product you are exporting. And each commodity has its own quality parameters. Many of the exporters here, or people who just want to export, they just go into the export without knowing the characteristics of the product they are really talking about. Those exporters who exported between 2011 and 2013 December created and generated more than 200 percent of the inflow of foreign exchange to this country. The recommended solution is that, including those who are interested in export now, if they can collect all these certificates, arrange if they want to discount it, discount it, pay. That will revigorate the exporters who are already dampened now. Sometimes, and this is particularly, well, difficult for, uh, for international or multinationals coming to Nigeria, there are not, or there are so many intransparencies which is, makes it really difficult for, for those companies while well, to establish business here to get financing. Zenith Bank has expressed its readiness to enhance revenue from non-oil exports by assisting its clients with financing support needed export. We will structure to do more to help manufacturers, farmers and other entrepreneurs sell made in Nigerian products and services to the benefit of our economy. Zenith Bank, in your best interest.